Hi everyone, welcome to the first week of a new series we're doing called Tangled, We're Breaking Free. This series is all about learning how we can break free and live in the freedom that God has for us. We're going to be learning four Hebrew names of God uh, and they are Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Shalom, Jehovah Rapha and Jehovah Jireh, which are used to describe God in the Old Testament. We're gonna be using four stories from the life of Moses. The first Hebrew name though this week we're gonna be learning about is Jehovah Nisi. Now it's hard to pronounce, so we're going to say this together. You can say this after me. Are we ready? Jehovah Nisi, which means the God that fights for us. How cool is that? So we're gonna be, be getting into the story, which is from Exodus 14, verse 13 to 22. And it's all about the parting of the Red Sea, if you've heard about it before. It's a picture of how God is able to do the impossible. Now, before I read this, we need to understand something. Um, firstly, about Moses and what's really happening in the story. So, Moses has just set the Israelites free from God, with God, sorry. <laughs> the Pharaoh, the leader of Egypt, had the Israelites working day and night, chained up. But Moses pleaded um, to let them go free. When Pharaoh finally let them go, he actually changed his mind and went back after them. So this is where the story leads us. And we're going to read it together. It says, But Moses answered, do not be afraid. Stand still and see the Lord save you today. You will never see these Egyptians again after today. You will only need to remain calm. Here's the important part. The Lord will fight for you. It continues on. It says, Then the Lord said to Moses, Why are you crying out to me? Command the people of Israel to start moving. Raise your walking stick and hold it over the sea. The sea will split. Then the people can cross the sea on dry land. How crazy is that? I have made the Egyptians stubborn, so they will chase the Israelites, but I will be honored when I defeat the king and all of his chariot drivers and chariots. I will defeat the king, his chariot drivers, and chariots, then Egypt will know that I am Lord. What will happen next is all God. Listen to this. The angel of God usually traveled in front of Israel's army. Now the angel of God moved behind them. Also, the pillar of cloud moved from in front of them and stood behind them. So the cloud came between the Egyptians and the people of Israel. The cloud made it dark for the Egyptians. So there was, it was blocking, it was dark for them. But it gave light to the Israelites. So the cloud kept the two armies apart all night. So it was keeping them safe. Moses held his hand over the sea. All that night, the Lord drove back the sea with a strong east wind. And this is what happened. So he made the sea become dry ground. Imagine that. The water was split and the Israelites went through the sea on dry land. The wall of water was on both sides. Crazy. God fought for them and made the impossible possible. How many times have you said, this is impossible? I'm sure Moses was thinking that. Maybe it is by ourselves, but with God, nothing is impossible. In our story today, was Moses tangled in fear? I don't think so. Moses didn't need to fear the sea or the army behind him. He had the God who fights for him, Jehovah Nisi. We too can walk into school each day in freedom from fear, knowing that we have God fighting for us. How amazing is that? So let me ask you, what are you afraid of? Tell someone next to you, and maybe for five seconds right now, say, I am afraid of... Go for it. Maybe you're afraid of people at school who are mean to you. Maybe it's the fear of speeches or math. Oh my gosh. For me, exactly this, is a, this was exactly what it was for me. I was afraid that people were going to think I wasn't smart enough because I wasn't good at maths. 
It was really difficult for me. No matter what I did, I always said, it's impossible. But if I knew back then that the God, Jehovah Nisi, who fights my battles for me, I don't think I would have been so afraid. I could have relied on him. Let's have a look at what the Bible says about this. I have found three things about God which can help us be free from fear. Repeat after me. We're going to say this together. God can do impossible things. God can do more than we could ever hope or pray for. And God is strong even when we are weak. It's amazing that that God that was helping Moses is the same God that is helping us today. Even though Moses had a big task in front of him, he could just raise his staff with confidence, knowing that it wasn't him that it had to make a way, but God would. In what area of your life do you feel tangled in fear? Each time you experience that fear, remember that the same God who split the sea in half is fighting for you as well. He loves you, he cares for you, and is with you every day. And if all else fails, if you don't remember anything from this message, I want you to remember this. I can be free from fear because my God fights for me. Amazing, that is the end of our week one series of Tangled or Finished. Remember, when fear comes, remember Jehovah, Jehovah Nisi, sorry, is the God that fights for you. Have an amazing week.